morning everyone this is Kathy again from blissful years and this morning uh, what I'm testing out is let me show you um, I haven't used this before and I'm trying to see if I can find a good strawberry fragrance so what I've got here is crafters choice and it's strawberries and cream fragrance oil right here um, I'm going to do just a one pound batch in the flower molds just like I did with the other one yesterday which was the rustic woods and rum. Uh, so far I really like that one. So we're going to try the strawberries and cream today. Um, I've got my one pound batch all laid out here. I've got my oils and my lye. I'm going to color it. We'll see. I haven't used this before. Um, the magenta mica from Brambleberry. So we're going to give a, a little bit of color red to that. And I put a, just a sprinkle of poppy seeds in the mold just to kind of, I guess, look like strawberry seeds. Because uh, I don't have any strawberry seeds. So uh, that's, what, that's what the plan is for today. And then we'll pop them out of the molds later on and, and show you what they look like. Um, and then uh, once they've cured, um, I will uh, do another video, kind of a review after they've cured for a month to uh, let you know how the fragrance holds up. <clears throat> so these are kind of like just little reviews I'm doing. So we'll, we'll uh, pour my lye in here. And we'll get started. Like I said, just a quickie. Another quickie soap video. Um, doing my little kids class today. I've only got three kids showing up today. Uh, smaller class. Um, so we're just kind of doing a, a free-for-all. They can take whatever decorations and cupcake bases I have and and uh, decorate whatever they want so it should be it should be still fun and you see I'm using a smaller bowl today because it's a smaller batch it's still kind of hard to burp the blender though colorant in. Well, oops, I'm not sure how much to use. Oh, that's, that's pretty vibrant. I kind of like that sure how it'll how it will cure here in the mold it might lighten it but we'll see I'm gonna add my fragrance I did it at the uh, maximum level because I really want the strawberry to come through put a tiny bit more of this in. Just to make it a little more red. Mm, smells nice. Oops. I find it hard with these smaller batches to not get bubbles in there. Oh. Mm. 
Anyway, I think that's good. We'll uh, scrape this off and get it poured. Mm. You can smell the strawberry. Very nice. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it holds. In uh, cold process. Someone else uh, I asked on Instagram they did a strawberry soap and they used actually the strawberry patch fragrance um, and it was her first time she asked somebody else who has used it before how they liked it and they said it held up well so if this one doesn't work then I may try the strawberry patch and see how it does Try not to make a mess here. I'm not always successful. Get the last little bit out of here. I do like I do like using the smaller bowl, even though it's still it's still hard to stick blend these smaller batches. I don't know. If anybody else has suggestions on that, I'm open. I'm open to them. So, we'll, we'll bang it down here on the counter. I guess I didn't need my whisk. I do like the color that I used. Um, once again, that's the uh, Magenta Mica from Brambleberry. Oh, I have spooks in the house again here. Um, so let me turn this. We'll just kind of bang it a bit. Give it a little spritz. And uh, there we go, until we pop them out later. Um, I'll tell you what I have planned for later this week. Uh, I think maybe Monday. Um, I have uh, some uh, black raspberry and vanilla fragrance oil, and I wanted to do another batch of cupcake soaps for the holidays. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, what I have planned, and I can't remember, I don't know what color I'm going to do the, the base of the cupcake yet. But I want to layer the top. I want to pipe the top in white and some shade of dark purple or pink and purple. Or, you know, I want to do something creative like that. And then I'm going to uh, uh, color up some little berries. I'm going to uh, do those in a purple. Uh, I'm going to use my clear melt and pour, but I'm going to color it purple. So I'm going to have one little berry on the top. So that's my plan for probably Monday. Um, to do a whole lot of cupcakes in the black raspberry and vanilla. And of course they'll have glitter on top, so you got to have glitter. But, um, but these are my molds to do the, uh, the little raspberries in. And, uh, I think I got these, I think I got them on eBay. It was either eBay or Etsy. Um, but they make really cute little raspberries, so. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. After this, I'm going to uh, do some melt and pour, make some raspberries, and, and get prepped for that. So I'm going to do like 20 cupcakes, I think. So that's my plan. Anyway, we'll be back later on another video. We'll pop these out of the mold, let you see what they look like. And then, like I said, uh, in a month or so, I'll bring back all the little samples I'm doing, and uh, I'll give you reviews on uh, the, how the fragrances have held up so far. 
So everybody have a great weekend. Um, I might do another little batch tomorrow of something. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but until the next video, have a great holiday. Oh, it's not a holiday yet. Almost, almost Halloween. Um, but anyway, have a good Saturday. Bye, everyone.